intense hatred of me. Makes them still want to join in. But I should be able to de Orissa any time, anywhere. Orissa are only allied with Doty. And Orissa have barely an army. Yeah, I mean, I could just fight Doty. But, uh, oh my, I don't have much of a truce with you. I will be attacking Orissa as soon as our truce is up and getting more of those cores back. Even though Bengal will be... Uh, yeah, it's hard to make them like me. There we go. Got to do everything I can to keep that down. Because as I give them more land, they're going to uh, have that come up. But yes, I should be prepping for war with Orissa. Which means being here, staring them down, and then kicking their arse. Doty can be made co-belligerent and swallowed up entirely by Dang. This is beautiful. Yeah, Malwa won't be impressed, but it'll barely affect their trust, and I still have favours with them, so it doesn't even matter about calling into wars for uh, land in the future. The most important thing is to get these forts off of Bahmanes, so we have an easier time ravaging them in the future. But I want that stack dead first, even if it means my own units suffer, or my allies' units suffer for it. So go on, get to work. Also, wasn't I meant to clean up the rest of Jampur? Yeah, did I make my claim? I did not make my claim. Okay, well, glad I have that spare, uh, spare diplomat right now. I need to keep improving with you, though, so... Go, my allies, eliminate that stack. Yeah, Vijayanagar can really build up an army. I'm quite impressed with them. That shouldn't be happening though. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Okay, Mercs. You number in many enough, so get up there. Defend us. Defend my subject from Sangi uh, Separatists. Tangy, <laughs> tangy Separatists. Subjugating Jampur might seem tempting with all those cores, but I'd rather just wipe them out entirely. They're, uh, if I get rid of them, then they can't be in a coalition against me. Also, much as it feels like I should give that land to Dang, I won't. It'll be mine. Come on, just make your move on the Bahmanis. They're right there, they need to die! Oh, oh don't, don't kill their rebels. I need them to have those rebels. I guess it's no big deal for me, but still want them gone. Come on, destroy them. Do it now! Getting called for pizza, which isn't good. When I really want them destroyed. I mean, it's understandable that my allies hesitate. Except now Vigianagar have Tech 9. They should have every reason to pursue Lubu. Uh, don't do that, please. You're hurting me. Did I miss the weekly spook or is that tomorrow? I, I didn't say it's tomorrow, but uh, you haven't missed it, so don't worry about that. Okay, finally. I'm going to wipe out his army and then it's time for him to go-go. Uh, which means I'll bring you back for now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, I got discovered in Bahamanas, which is going to hurt me making those claims, but hey-ho, such is what I get for being greedy. He's being pursued. He's being entirely destroyed. I got the monthly, the monthly tick, the lucky bugger, but that just makes his pain greater than mine. And he's left with some peasants, so how about we just leave him with all of these problems. Thanks for the money, thanks for the land. Malwa aren't super happy with that, but Malwa have alright trust with me, so it's okay. Glorious. Good fight, good night. Oh, how about that money, which I do need. Oh, now I get even less of it. Almost makes it not worth taking, doesn't it? Like, as if taking land would be better. Does he have any land that's super worth me taking? You know, like places he's built up a farm estate or where he has uh, awesome trade goods. 
Or, I mean, I could give that to Vigianagar, but I don't want him to have it. It's in the, uh, it's in the Coromandel trade node, and it's in my area, so no go for that. No, I think uh, sticking him into some heavy debt is a very good thing to do. Oh, that fort would be really nice to take off of him. I can't ask for it though, Vigianagar got there first, and they want it. Alright, good fight, good night, Bachmanes, you've got to go though. Whew, we took a lot of losses for that. Who ate the bulk of them? Vijay did. Well, that's okay. Bachman has just got disemboweled. I got Golconda. It's inside uh, one of my areas already. It has got to go to the Jains. Huge taxes, enormous uh, production, because it has the, the diamonds of Golconda. And it's already Hindu, so I don't have to worry about that. The manpower, it barely has any. So Jains, make me some money, please. To the point where I don't even care about the autonomy there. Although, kind of wishing I hadn't done that. Could have been useful to not do that. Oh well, what's done is done. Let's leave well enough alone. And there we go. The trust was hit, but I still have the favors. I could call them into future wars. Make our cores out core Badar, but it's under siege. It won't be shortly. Excellent. Now who dies? Uh, well, Sangi Separatists would, but I think Mong Huang took care of them for us, so you deal with that. You folks come back down south. I think Gouda is the cheesiest place to be. And the question is where we go from here, but I need a free diplomat to do that. I also want some claims on you. I should finish off this area, but Bidar is... Bidar was a ballsy thing for me to take. I want this, but I have a claim on it. Yeah. And I'll continue to spy on you to get more later on. I want to claim that soon, that'll be okay. I want... yeah, I need to go to war with Jampur and Orissa real soon. I have no manpower. My army is in shambles. And I'm running a deficit, but we'll make it work. Jake, I think we need more, some more elephants. Yeah, I consolidated away far too many of my elephants. I need manpower for it. I barely make any manpower right now. 148 per month, so despite my growth, still uh, not proportional growth in manpower gain from how I started. Oh, dang, actually want to marry me, which is uh, cute. I think it's high time you just abdicated now. Lose 20 legitimacy, if I lose 50 prestige. I know that uh, you're pretty awesome. Yeah, you are pretty awesome. Step away. Thanks, Marvin. We appreciate it. I got a new deity to select, though. Perhaps it's time that I start going down the core creation cost and AE. But uh, now my troops are starting to think that uh, discipline and siege ability from Shakti would be better. Core creation cost and AE stacks really well. Could also get rid of you. Yeah. All right, Shiva, let's make this count because it'll go faster as well. That's the thing. Hope that worked out. In before he dies in six months. Please. I need this guy around. Uh, that's right, I was going to make my claim here, wasn't I? And bring you away, because I don't need you working full time there. Now, Bengal, I want you to love me. So let's get marrying. Let's keep that, uh, keep that liberty desire down. It's difficult, but we can try. Hey, he hates my guts in many interesting ways. AE will take a while to burn down, and even giving this land to him is not going to make him too happy. Still, though, my truce... Kathmandu Separatists, you're going to go there, aren't you? You're going to cause me a real pain. Oh, well. Still, Truce with Orissa is going to go out in one year. Truce with Jampur is out now. I want that Jampuri province. I want this one as well, but I uh, can't get to it courtesy of Delhi. I'll have enough spy network for it soon, but Orissa is the ultimate goal here. They're racked with revolts and should be an easy target. And I'll probably call in 
Mm, should I call in Malwa? Is there any point to doing so? Seems like a waste of favors. I should save those favors for when Delhi need to die, or if I want to round two with Bahmanes and they are able to rebuild. Uh, since I'm relatively young, I should probably marry Vigianagar. And should I marry Dang? Not at a cost of five uh, prestige, I won't. Okay, very good. Do Arakan have any friends, Jake? They do have friends. They have quite a few friends. But perhaps I could threaten... No, I cannot. Yeah, Dai Viet Lana and Ava. Just not worth it for this one core. It's a good core, but uh, it's more important to discombobulate Arissa. What I need to do is get these cores back and then very quickly integrate Bengal. Like, faster than you can imagine. We're same religion. We are not same culture group. But yeah, I, this is a case of vassal feeding. I don't keep ten, intend to keep them a long time like I do Dang. Dang, you're going to stick around. This land I'm not actually sure I want to give to Bengal. It's cheap to take in terms of aggressive expansion. However, uh, I want this land to go to Dang. Basically, I want all of this to go to Dang. Except for this, it belongs to an area that I want I'll just culturally enrich it and claim that he was uh, that he never had a claim on it. Gujarat are now fighting Bahmanis for a reconquest. Delhi have dishonored, so glad I didn't waste my uh, my war score breaking them up. I think Bahmanis could fight back on this one, even though I pounded them into dust. Gujarat could deal with the peasants, but it would weaken them. And Bahmanis has this way of uh, jumping back. Malwa is requesting that I help them in their conquest of Jampur. It's a war that they have started. Oh, well, at least they know I have interest in that province, so they might give it to me. I will accept, of course. I have very little reason not to accept. However, I need to get to that province before... Oh, shoot. The Tsangis are back, and there are a lot of them. Figured Assam would deal with that and that they would come over to Mong Kwang, but okay, well, whatever the case, I need to make my way over here. Ah, oh, yeah, there's this province. I forgot about that one. Okay, dang, do me a favor and get there before anybody else. Meow has our one sliver of maneuver. Alright, seems like Dang is on the case, but, you know, I too could be on that case. Just take a single unit and have it sieged up. Hmm, alright, I can just let the... Oh, well, the problems, they... They mount up, don't they? I'll take care of Katmandu. So, that'll be the end of Jampur. For better or for worse. I mean, what's better is that uh, their aggressive expansion against me disappears, because they don't. They themselves will disappear. Uh, am I going to make it? No, I'm not. No, I am. Hot damn. There we go. We protect our valued subjects. And it was only Merc lives that died, and Merc lives don't matter, despite what uh, activists may tell you. Surely they'll go into uh, into these lands and Mong Huang will deal with them instead of us. Surely. Arissa still need to die, though. How will I deal with that? Doty are sitting there all pretty with an army. Arissa are still at Tech 8. Oh, man. They're going to die so hard. They have no forts other than this. They somehow got over to defeat the army there, though, which is concerning. And I don't have a large army to put them under... Uh, under occupation. Can we see that dang general? So here he is. His name is Drig Narayan Rai. 3643. That 3 in siege is insane. Master of Arms. <laughs> and that's under their cruel leadership. Very impressive. They might, uh, they might manage to toe-to-toe -to -toe against Doty, actually. All things considered. Now, 
They love me for honouring the alliance and defending their provinces, but I could always have those relations improved. I want them as high as they go with both of my allies. And I, there's no point in doing spy network on Jampur anymore. Damn, I'm hemorrhaging money. I know I'm restoring my, uh, my mercs right now, but still expensive stuff. This is the year that uh, I go to war with Orissa, though. How am I going to play it? I should wipe out his units here ASAP, but I should also have him carpet sieged here. I just wish I had more units. I'm going to have to make do with what I have right now, or rely even further on mercs. Barely have the money to do that. How much am I paying as reinforcements? Okay, almost all of it. I might be able to uh, dip into the merc uh, pool a bit more. But the next thing I want to make are elephants. We don't have enough elephants in our life right now. Oh, what takes care of that? Yeah, Arissa's gonna die. I can even see his units. Oh. You guys alone should be able to... Oh, well, now he does have a bit of an army there, doesn't he? I mean, he's at Miltech 8. It won't be a fair fight. And those guys aren't safe because I can pop in through Bengal. Also, Bengal has a fort. Also, I have a fort. Yeah, Arissa doesn't stand a ghost of a chance. Doty, at worst, would get uh, strung up and dang or one of my forts, and I'd still uh, knock his bloody teeth out of his face. Yeah, Arissa die tonight. I thought, Malwa, I need to cut you off or else you are almost certainly going to fight Arissa on your own terms. Traffic cone releases with uh, returns with soup and wonders if Nitra is released yet. Why in the world would you wonder that? Arissa have been making claims on us, right? That's all the Cassus Belly we need. And in fact, that's what we want to see. Time for you to die, Arissa. So, yeah, my Vigianagar would join in any day of any week. It's good that I have so many favors with them, because I want to have a strong relationship with Vigianagar that uh, persists through the ages. Like I said, this is not a hyper-blobbing campaign. I don't even intend on uniting India here. I have parts that I want to unite, and Arissa seems to be sitting on all of it, because I want that sweet Bengali node. Sadly, Malwa and I cannot see eye to eye as long as they probe into my country like this. But we will get around to that. Uh, hi there, new to the game. I was wondering what DLCs you recommend getting, says host for you. I mean, I'm a bit biased. I mean, I would say all of them. Buy several of them. Buy them for uh, your friends and extended family as well. But there's plenty of guides online about the must-haves, so you could refer to those slightly less biased than I. Now, when looking at dealing with Orissa, firstly, the cores. Secondly, which of those cores have the highest development to take, and uh, Nadia is head and shoulders above the others, it seems. There's Kutak, sure, but um, that'd be for me. These two I intend on taking myself if I can, otherwise it's Reconquest. It is borderline tempting to involve Malwa, but I'd have to promise him land, and he wouldn't be getting that land. No, I mean, hell, I can take this guy on on my own whilst asleep, but I should be there so I can jump onto you, spread out and take these, knock out his remaining army, and then everything is uh, hunky to the dory. Also my subjects, I want them to, yeah, they're already doing whatever they want. And there's 8,000 between them, which isn't uh, anything to sniff at. Okay, what did I say I was going to take? Nadia. Odd. That doesn't seem right. Also, Doty, yeah, they've got to be made a co-belligerent because I want to give all that land to Dang. Might have a bit of a uh, subject problem, but I have tons, well, I had tons of prestige to see that through. So let us make it so. You're dying, by the way. Super fast meow. Get there. Run him ragged. I don't need all these units to be super master uh, masterfully killing them, so... I'm going to take out the uh, the infantry, or the, the non-merc infantry. 
and have them do another super important job, and that is of course putting this guy under siege. One there, there, there. One of them's gonna go there and hopefully not engage in the fight. One of them's gonna hold down that fort, otherwise we kill and keep moving. None of you guys are taking that route, are you? Yeah, you are actually. Well then, go for the south. Uh -huh, he knows what's up. Oh, he knows what's up. It's his death. Right, pursue. There's no point giving him any breathing room whatsoever. Probably not a great idea to run through his... Oh, oh favors gained! We got six favors. Tell me you didn't subjugate him. Jampur will become a vassal of Malwa. Ooh. Well, all the more reason to kill Malwa. Their time will come. That is interesting. You don't often see the AI subjugate. Now, beneficially for me, Jampur hates... Uh, sorry, hates Malwa's guts. So good chance they won't be able to integrate them anytime soon. They're already super disloyal. Hmm, tempting to uh, to poke the bear there in some regard. Come on. Ah, yeah. Some of those are doty units. No need to worry. And he's just gonna rest up on some of my uh, some of my land. This is okay, but I want to drop out a few more just to help with the carpet sieging. Because it's important to me that he does not get the freedom to make more units. Even if that means stopping by some of these to uh, cancel the production of units. Give it a day, it stops. And ha, huh, what a fool, he's going straight for my capital. I mean, can't blame him, he's got very little, uh, little else that could work for him. to uh, don't reinforce enough so you gotta keep moving that all works out yeah just keep it flowing again the, he, he is the opportunity to make a few units here so what I would rather is one two three three that are actually at full strength we just stop these dead it's a mistake I often make, I just keep letting my enemies reinforce or get their army back together and mobilized. Whereas what you should do is kill, chase, destroy, make sure there is nothing left, no chance of them making a comeback. Now you'd think being cruel like that comes naturally for me, but uh, sometimes laziness is a very compelling argument in itself. units just can't hack all this because uh, it's pretty bad with the monsoon season coming in. Uh, it's not a good time to be attacking you, is it? Still, I am confident that we will have you down and out. Once I wrap up this last unit, he's all, uh, he's all done. He's all washed up. Oh, but then there's his uh, peasants as well. Hope I don't end up cleaning those up for him. 2nd of December and 25th of November, they shouldn't have the time to cause me problems. Uh, just in case. Oh, yes. Make him suffer because he's still on Miltech 8. Trample him down. <laughs> How can anyone not enjoy that? I don't understand. How would it even be possible? He's going up to Mandla, but that's not the extent of where he's running to, so I should uh, should keep something of an eye on him. I don't want to fight his peasants for him. Uh, once I ravage his army, once I take his capital, I should have all the war score that I need. 
Sadly, I can't take this land nice and cheaply for myself, but I could tell him to just gee it back to Bengal. Sure, I don't make many friends this way, but I gave up friends long ago in favor of no friends. That is brutal. I can take everything. Is that actually everything? Everything. Bengal will hate me. I need to... Uh, I'll probably need to... Do a lot of um, interactions with him to keep him on my side. That's... Ah, right, yes. Doty is still a thing. I should chase him down and destroy him too. This cannon, however. That cannon of yours. Go over to Kodak. I don't care about that fort in the north. It's not worth the investment. Would it be an idea to wait for Bengali Separatists to spawn and help them enforce demands? No, then uh, Liberty Desire in my subject would shoot so high. That check would bounce higher than Rubber Girl. Not liking the severe lack of money I have, though. Also not liking the fact that I left him with a place to recruit from. That's not good of me. I would have thought... Oh. There's lots of things anyone can think. I don't have any rebels of my, my own ready to pop up, thankfully. What my country really needs is something resembling a breather right now. It's a shame they're getting access through Malwa, probably because I have access through Malwa. Orissa disp- Oh shoot, Doty's under attack! By uh, Malwa and Jampur? Malwa and Conquest of Doty. They want that. Shoot. Right, I need to uh, to get this for myself then. However, that does mean those Doty units are no longer of concern to me, which is reassuring. Try to get my non-Merc units uh, out of here, because I don't want them wasting away. But yes, I need to make sure I'm on this and over in Kumaon. Kumaon? What a, what a name. Crap, Kangar are involved as well. So basically I need to take this province for myself. Just getting one of these. Well then Kangra's next, and Kangra are somehow tributary state of uh, Ming. Tributary to the state of Ming. Hmm. Scary. Jake, what is the explanation for elephants having higher looting speed than infantry? Elephants are a cavalry unit, and all cavalry units have faster looting speeds than infantry. There's your explanation. Okay, looks like we have nothing but uh, Merc infantry plus our cannons there. I have very little regular Merc infantry left, which... Eh, take it or leave it. Still those Arisans alive, though. Don't like the sound of that. Oh, right, uh, Doty. You are super amazing at what you do. I want you to attach to me here. Uh, not Doty. Dang. I can pay off your debt. You've got a lot of debt. How about you? No such debt. If he gets over here in Kotak, that three siege will be very appreciated. This is not very appreciated, though. If he goes there, then I'm going to take this dang general and wipe him out with it. Don't actually know what he's up to. I can get you folks together to deal with it, too. Yeah, as long as you're there, the rest of you can uh, join up with this attack stack. wipe him out. Shouldn't be a problem for you, right, Meow? 
course not. Core's a core, of course. Hmm. <clears throat> and that's the end of all my problems, unless those uh, peasants come and give me some. Hopefully I 